Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to our quarter one, week three, day one and two. So let's recall first, give three examples of an element with its symbol and three compounds with its formula. So right here, we have the list of the different elements. Example is zinc. The symbol is Zn. We have carbon. The symbol is C. For iron, we have Fe. And for the compounds, we have carbon dioxide with a chemical formula of CO2, sulfuric acid with H2SO4, and sodium chloride, NaCl. Okay, so let's understand our concept for this week. Symbol, when you say symbol, it is a letter or picture used to represent something. So chemists used one or two letters to represent elements. So here are an example. So we have for one letter element, we have S for sulfur, O for oxygen, H for hydrogen, and for the two letter symbols, we have AL for aluminum, and A for sodium, and Fe for iron. The next one is a molecular formula. When we say molecular formula, it is a representation of a molecule that uses chemical symbols to indicate the types of atoms followed by subscript or subscripts to show the number of atoms of each type in the molecule. All right, so I have here an example of water. So take a look at the symbols. We have capital H and capital O. So beside that H or hydrogen, we have number two, and that is the subscript. So what is a subscript? A subscript shows the number of atoms of each type in the molecule. So kailan po siya ginagamit? It is only used when more than one atom is be, uh, being represented. So, kaya po kung mapapansin ninyo, yung oxygen, wala po siyang nakalagay na number because there's only one oxygen. So, kapag isa lang po, ay hindi na po sinusulat ang number one. Okay, so two atoms of hydrogen plus one atom of oxygen equals one molecule of water. So, take a look at this one. So, I can represent two atoms of hydrogen Katulad po nito. And then, one atom of oxygen ay ganito naman. So, ano yung kalalabasan? Okay, so magiging ganito po yung itsura niya. Okay, nagkaroon po ng chemical bonding. So, the two atoms of hydrogen nag-combine po sa one atom of oxygen. And that is one molecule of water. Okay, so we have H2, dalawa. So, H2 plus 1 oxygen equals H2O. And that is known as water. So, let us break down the chemical formula of H2. Or the chemical formula is H2O. The symbol for its element. So, for we have H and O. The name of each element, hydrogen and O for oxygen. How about the number of atoms? There are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So let's apply now. Complete the table below. Tingnan natin kung natutunan na natin yung lesson natin. So given the chemical formula, we have for number one, we have H2. SO4 right here the name of that compound is sulfuric acid what are the constituent elements so we have hydrogen saan po makikita yun nandito po sa chemical formula so we have hydrogen we have sulfur right here and another one is oxygen okay how about the number of atoms for hydrogen we have two Right here, take a look at the subscript. Dito po. And for sulfur, we have one. Kasi wala po nakasulat ng subscript. Meaning to say, there's only one. For oxygen, we have four. 
Number 2, example, chemical formula C6H12O6. The name of that compound is glucose. What are the constituent elements? We have carbon. We have hydrogen. And then we have oxygen. How about the number of atoms? For carbon, we have 6. Again, take a look at the subscript. For hydrogen, we have 12. For oxygen, we have 6. Okay, and then the last one, we have NaCl for the chemical formula. What is the name of that compound? That is the uh, sodium chloride. So what are the constituent elements? We have sodium and chlorine. Again, wala pong element na chloride. Instead, that is chlorine. Okay, so the number of atoms for Na, we have one. Again, pag walang subscript, meaning to say there's only one. For chlorine or Cl, we have one. Alright, for the let's create part, you were asked to make a flashcard. Flashcard of an element. So I have here an example. This is just an example. You can make your own design. You can make it as colorful as you want for as long as the informations needed are there. What are those informations needed? Like the name of that element. Uh, the nickname is the, the, the symbol of that element, the year of discovery, the place of discovery, and the characteristics of that particular element na napili po ninyo. So, the symbol, nilagay ko po siya sa front and then sa likod po niyan or sa back part are the informations needed. Okay, and then pagdidikitin po para isang flashcard lang po yung uh, makikita ko. with our quarter one week three day three so let's understand so elements and compound elements and compounds are present in the food we eat so from the product labels informations about the contents of the food is written so here is an example of a product label okay dyan po sa nutrition facts Makikita po natin dyan. Yan po yung list of the different nutrients provided by the food product with their corresponding percentage share on the daily recommended dietary allowance. So, on the other part, the highlighted one, yan naman po yung tinatawag na ingredients, a list of the materials that have been added to make the food product. So, these are sources of the nutrients. So, ano ba yung mga kinoconsider natin kapag bumibili tayo ng mga food product sa tindahan o kaya sa supermarket. Of course, we need to consider the of course the price kung medyo kapos tayo, syempre yung yung price ang una nating iniisip. Masyado bang mahal or okay lang ba na bumili ng product na 'yan? And then kailangan ba natin yung product talaga or baka hindi naman? Ano pa? So of uh, importante din tingnan natin yung expiration date ng product kasi baka mamaya uh, malapit nang ma-expire yung product na yon, So, hindi na natin bibilhin. And of course, most importantly, the different nutrients na makukuha natin sa product na yan. Okay, so here, kung makikita po natin, what are the elements and compounds na makikita dito sa label na to? So, take a look at this nutrition facts here. So, may nakita po akong sodium. Sodium is an element right here. So, ilang percentage po yan, nasa 10% lang siya. And, compound, paunahin muna natin lahat ng elements. So, we have calcium here. So, 0%. And, we also have iron. Okay? And then, how about the compound? Ano yung mga nakikita natin compound dito? We have sugar as a compound. How about dito sa ingredients? Medyo maliit, pero kayang makita. So, may nakita pa akong water right here. And we have sugar also, a compound. And what else? Okay, so marami pa pong iba dyan. So may sodium po ako nakita right here, an element, sodium. We have iron, an element also. Okay, so see? So elements and compounds ay pwede nating makita sa product label. So kailangan lang po nating mag-observe. Alright, so let's apply. So, complete the table by filling in the elements that can be seen in the nutrition facts. Okay? And the compounds that can be seen in the ingredients. 
again, sa nutrition facts po, ang hanapin po natin ay elements, while in the ingredients, ang hanapin po is compound. So, what are the elements na nakita ko po kanina dyan po sa nutrition facts? So, these are the elements. Calcium, right here, nasa baba. 0% lang siya. And iron, also, with 0%. How about in the ingredients, what are the compounds na nakita ko dyan kanina? So, I have salt. May nakita po akong salt. And then, we have also water. We are now in day 4. Ano yung pag-aaral natin sa day 4? Let's understand. Most elements are represented symbolically by two letters. Generally, the first two in their name. So, I have here an example, like aluminum, the symbol of aluminum is capital A and L. Okay, so two letters, galing po sa first two letters ng kanyang pangalan. In some cases, the first letter together with some other letters from their name were used particularly when their first two letters had already been allocated to another element. Example here, like magnesium. Magnesium po, uh, yung symbol po niya is MG. So, from the first letter and then from the third letter. So, very few elements have symbols which appear to have no relationship with their names. So, may mga elements po na yung symbol niya ay wala na ma ma hindi makikita doon sa kanyang pangalan. So, the origin of the symbol used is given. Like, for example, sodium. So, yung symbol po ng sodium ay Na. So, wala naman po siyang relationship doon sa kanyang pangalan na sodium. So, yung Na po ay galing po sa Latin word na nitrium. So, from the first and second letter of the word nitrium. So, let us apply now. So, in this activity, you will be needing a periodic table of the elements right here. So, given here, column A, we have, in column A, we have the names of the element and compound. In column B naman, we have the chemical formula and chemi uh, chemical symbols. So, paano natin gagamitin yung periodic table of the elements? In column B, tingnan po na muna natin yung mga symbols and uh, formula. So, CO2. Simulan natin kay CO2. Meron kayang CO2 dito sa periodic table of the elements. So, kung hindi natin siya nakita dyan, ibig sabihin siya po ay hindi element, siya ay compound. Okay? So, how about AU? So, si AU kaya ay makikita natin dito sa periodic table of the elements. Ayan. So, nandito po si AU. So, below that symbol, ay makikita natin ang pangalan. So, ang pangalan po ni AU ay, okay, gold po ang kanyang pangalan. Next, how about si Na2CO3 kaya? Nasa periodic table of the elements kaya siya? So, wala rin po tayong makikita ang ganyan dyan. So, ibig sabihin siya po ay isa ring compound. So, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung symbol ng carbon dioxide? Oh, Rather, formula ng carbon dioxide. At alin dyan? Ang chemical formula ng sodium carbonate. So, tingnan natin yung first letter of the word. Si carbon. Ano po yung symbol ni carbon? So, si carbon po ay C. Okay? So, tingnan po natin sa choices natin kung alin dyan ang may letter C sa unahan. So, eto lang naman po ang mayroon. So, therefore, the answer for carbon dioxide, the formula is... Okay, CO2. And then the last one is for sodium carbonate, we have Na2CO3. Alright, for the let's create part for day 4. So look for one element and one compound that are being used regularly in everyday life. So ang gagawin po natin for this activity is a chart showing the pure substances, the name, the name, 
the symbol so i will change this one so again pure substances the name the symbol or the chemical formula and then the uses of that element and compound so for element ang napili ko po is oxygen kasi without without it po ay hindi po tayo mabubuhay so gamit na gamit po siya in our regular or in our everyday life so oxygen the name of the element is oxygen the symbol is capital o so what are the uses of this element so for aerobic respiration kailangan po ng oxygen sterilizing agent sterilizing agent and sewage treatment so these are the uses of oxygen for a compound naman napili ko po is sodium chloride so ginagamit po natin siya regularly so the symbol is a rather the chemical formula is NaCl so ano po yung uses ng sodium chloride okay for flavor pampalasa wala pong lasang food kung wala pong sodium chloride or table salt and we can also use sodium chloride in food preservation okay so yung gagawin po ninyo sa let's create part na to pwede na po sa band paper for as long as nandun po yung mga important details na hinahanap and then you can make it as colorful as you want you can make any design na gusto po ninyo pwede nyo pagandahin for as long as the again the important details po ay nandyan alright thank you so much for this week that's it for this week muna see you guys next week god bless and keep safe